I feel like in the black community, there's like this misconception, oh, black people don't do that. Yeah, that's it. Only white people do this. And they have every right to believe that because, you know, their outlet to the world is what you see on the TV and on the internet. And if you don't see any black people or any people of color climbing, you're not gonna think you can do it. Yeah, nice. I, I was curious, I was like, are there any black climbers? I, so I literally typed, are there black climbers in Google? And I came across this forums and someone said, black people don't climb. I grew up in Queens. I went to elementary school five minutes from here. Out here, there's no rock climbing gym. There's no mountains. There's nothing out here like that. Like my idea of the outdoors is the backyard, you know? I grew up in Harlem. You can't just go to like Riverbank and find a climbing wall there. You know what I mean? Like my dad wasn't into climbing, my mom wasn't into climbing, my family wasn't into climbing. No one knew that that was like a sport. This was like one of the sports that I got into by myself and I kind of found by myself. I think I was like the only Dominican there. I think I'm still like the only Dominican doing this. I've had kids, black kids say, oh, we don't do this. You know, we don't do this. And then that made me like, man, this kid is saying that, what else could he think he, that he can't do just because he's black? Or he has not seen another black person do that. I love climbing. So everybody, you know, everybody that knows me, they're like, you climb that? Like, what is that? And I'm like, why don't you come and find out? When I first came to the gym back in 2009, there was maybe one other black guy. Anytime we saw someone else was black, like we made it a thing to say, hey, what's going on? I remember when Pete first came. You know, we just kind of like saw each other and then you know, slowly moved towards each other. Like, hey, he looks like me. And you know, not that I was like feeling out of place, but I'm sort of used to being the only black guy and everywhere, but. I really wanted to see more, more black people in the gym, right? I just thought, like, climbing could benefit from it. Went by myself, I climbed for a couple hours. I didn't know anybody there. I was in an area of Brooklyn that I've never been to before, and I think I just watched this group of guys just killing it, kind of just gravitated toward that. Saul, he looked like he, he wanted a crew to just climb with. I was like, yeah, like, this is, I can learn something here. Then we said, okay, we have to come together. This is gonna be the crew that takes over climbing. The crew was actually a mix of both, I guess, us and a lot of other Asian people. Uh, at first it was like blacks of climbing, and then it was Asians of climbing. I don't know who made it up. I think someone said brothers of climbing, which kind of made more sense at the time. And then people would just shout it out. Like they see us, like BOC, BOC. I think it's just the energy the group brings just helps me climb better. Because they're the ones that first brought me outside. You know, they're the ones that taught me a lot of things. They push me a lot. Come on, stick with it. Yep, one over. Look at this guy crimping. <laughs> Crimps are my favorite. Who taught you how to do that? It came to a point where we were actually hanging out outside of the gym. You know, we would go, you know, go get some food. And then, I don't know, when it, when it hit us, we were like, let's all go to Chattanooga and let's just do a trip. That would be so much fun. I definitely have, like, gone places where you feel like maybe we should not be here. If you're traveling in a car with other people <laughs> and they all happen to be black or whatever, like you do put yourself in a, in a certain, you know. And outside of that, like just experiencing like standing around and like cops driving past two times and then they'll stop you and be like, what are you doing here? You know, we tried to buy a guidebook, talk to the lady for like 10 minutes. And she was like, so what do you need it for? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> We're going climbing. Like, why do you think I've been talking to you for the last 10 minutes? Like, and her, my, her face was like, what? You're going rock climbing? Swing it out. No, it's just Got like, it. Yeah. bump it up. Got it. All right. 
Move the feet up, let the underclean. Got it. Got it? Got it. All right, keep it going. Okay. <laughs> It just goes back to, you know, not being exposed to, to the outdoors, right? And the problem is we're telling ourselves that we can't do it. And on the other end, there's no one telling us that we can do it. So it's a problem on both sides of that coin. And we have to attack it from both sides. It is up to us for us to, you know, make that representation, show people that, you know, there are black people in climbing. But that's what we're trying to do now is kind of show people that, hey, you can. You can do this. And you can kind of, you know, try and work your feet up a little bit until you feel comfortable. Yeah, Katie. He's our, he's our, he's our right leg. Right. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yo, just bring it, bring it to the top, man. We got you, we got hey. you down here. There was a woman in, uh, in California who was looking for a group forever. And she found our Instagram. She was like, there's a black climbing group somewhere? Like, she was looking, you know, so someone out there is looking and they might be the only one. So BOC's mission is to increase involvement of minorities in the outdoors. Right now we're starting with climbing, but I want to see more of us participating in outdoor activities because if more of us were out there, then it would just be more of a common thing. I don't think I'd be where I am without them. 